Speaking of social media, you know, what are some things like if you go like when you're doing maybe like a social media audit, I'm assuming that you've done that mm-hmm. all the time before. So right when you go right when you go to an artist's Instagram, what are some of the things that you're looking for? Or what are some of the common things that you think artists are, are missing uh, when it comes to social media? All right. Uh, basic shit. This is like all easy shit. Right. Little things that make a big, big difference. Make sure all of your at names are the same Um, because you have to think like I want to be easily searchable. Right. And there's there's plenty of times where, you know, an artist will follow me on Twitter, but then I won't be able to find them on Instagram, you know, or they'll look like or I'll, I'll follow them on Instagram, but then I'll try to find them on Twitter and they look like a totally different person. So. Um, big part of branding is like beating people over the head with the name. Like when I first came up with taste creators, I didn't even think it was going to be available. But so the first thing that I did was I checked the domain name is tastecreators.com available is at taste creators available everywhere. And if it wasn't, I was going back to the drawing board. A company wouldn't been, wouldn't have been called taste creators. So it's really, really important for you to own your digital real estate and part of that is making sure that, you know, your artist name.com is available, making sure that all the at names are available. And when they are, make sure that you claim them, Jones. So that's something big. Uh, make sure your at, at names are cohesive across the board. Make sure you have the domain. So as far as your question, so the at name, I look for a professionally shot profile photo um, because, you know, the profile photos to me are, are very important, you know, a high quality image. Um, is it just, it makes you look better, you know? So, uh, I look for that. I look for, what are they saying in their bio? So like your, their Twitter, their little Twitter bio or little Instagram bio, like, does it make me intrigued to follow you? You know, does it sound extremely generic? Um, or is it promoting way too much too early? Right. Um, now I'm not saying that you shouldn't, you, you, you shouldn't promote yourself or your latest release in your Twitter bio or your Instagram bio per se, but think about it. Like you're trying to grow your audience, right? If you just met, if you were at a gas station and you just met somebody and then two seconds later, they turn around and they ask you for something and be like, bro, I just, I just met you. Like what? Yeah. You're going to look, think they're weird, but artists do this all the time, you know? It's like, as soon as I go on your Twitter, it's check out this song or check out, you know what I'm saying? Your job is really to make sure that you have that stuff readily available, but kind of promote it like it was their idea. You know, you don't have to send me your link. You just have to engage with my tweet and I'm gonna check out your Twitter and hopefully your song is pinned. You know, you have a video there that's promoted to me. So let's not get too off topic back to what you originally asked i look for profile photos at names what are you saying in your bio um, if it's twitter specifically i look at do you have a pin tweet that's promoting your music uh can is there is it just like what is the tweet saying is it is there a preview uploaded to it that i could check out beforehand that's always best you know um do you, what link do you have in your bio that's another thing that i look at you know it, if you just have a spotify link well, I use Apple Music. I'm an Apple Music person. So I can't click there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like use a link tree or a smart URL. You just have to, you have to think, um, you know, in the marketing world, it's like funnels, right? It's like how, what's the, what's the fan journey going to be like, right? So a lot of artists, they're like, well, I want, I want people to be able to check out my latest release, uh, my biggest project. My, uh, I want them to be able to buy some merch. I want them to be able to check out my press that I've done. It's like, well, you're blocking all of that out with just an iTunes link or just a Spotify link there. You know, put a link there that is going to give people access to all of these things. Because as you know, like attention spans are just non-existent now. So you really have to play off that. I like to be able to, like any artist that I work with, we make sure that we know what we want the fan journey to be. We know what we want them to be able to do, and we make sure that they could do it with the click of a button. 